Well, the way this started off was figuring out which way we wanted it to open. I was thinking of it opening up this way. So, you know, sitting there in your chair, you'd have all the access there. Could have had it open, you know, whichever way, but decided to go with this way. Uh, then we had to figure out, besides getting it uh, squared, whereabouts we wanted our hinge. And I found this piece of cardboard for a template of figuring out where you're going to put the hinge of how far the door is going to stay open. You don't want the door to open up only this much. So we figured that in so the door will be able to lay open all the way without falling. Marked our little line on here. Next step here is going to be figuring out the uh, diameter of the actual hatch. This line here represents where the seat will come to. So we can't be going under the seat, obviously. So it'll be a small little hatch. We can, uh, we can definitely go a good ways over this way and this way and all that. But we're going to cut out the actual bottom of the seat here, the aluminum itself, a little smaller. That way it'll be a, have supports all the way around underneath this hatch. Well, there you have, after careful measuring, the actual cutout hole. I'm not sure if you can see the lines, but here they are here. This will be the cutout itself. Let's go cut this out. We can go ahead and pop the piece out then, and then we can get a measurement in on how far to actually cut the aluminum. It's going to be uh, smaller than this, remember. Okay, the saber saw made short work of that. I just had this up here testing the hatch again. Making sure I'd uh, also uh, cut this down uh, just a little bit smaller for the carpet and all that. Alright, now we can uh, press this down there since it's got a little bow into it. And we need to cut this smaller to give the hatch here something to rest on all the way around when it's closed. Give it a whole lot more security. Let's uh, go ahead and we'll grab this here. And we will start uh, figuring out how much we want to get hanging out up in here. And we will go ahead and start cutting that out. Well, here is what we come up with, uh, with the measuring and all, fitting it to the board here. Just to make good and sure it'll set on here, we definitely want to cut on the inside of the lines all the way around. So, we're running out of daylight, but let's see if we can get this done at least. All saber sawed up, let's see what we got under the hood. Alrighty, I'm going to cut back some of this foam straight back right here. We'll leave the rest there. And uh, <clears throat> that should do it. Let me go in here and get something that can, uh, has a long enough, deep enough reach to uh, go down through here. There she is, fresh out. They was, I was wondering what this, uh, what this rivet here on the side was for. You can probably barely see that now. It just goes to this. I put a little brace in here just to hold up the styrofoam. That's okay. A little of that great stuff foam will get that pop right back up like this and then held in place. We ain't going to do it on the rib, of course, so we can let any uh, splashy water that gets in there flow freely. But we can put it back up in there and let it uh, hold it up like this and let it uh, go back up just to keep it from making a racket in there. This will be a uh, decent little size here for a drop-in box. Be a little dry box up in here. I'm going to do the same thing to this bottom one down here. But it is late. I think I'm going to go in here and try to find something to cook. So, all for now. 